Oh, sorry. I was just having a quick game of football whilst I waited for you. But you haven't come to play football, have you? You've come to find out what happens next in chapter 8 of Peter Pan. The children are carried off. Well, let's find out. Chapter 8. The children are carried off. Hook and his fiendish crew had taken the Redskins by surprise, so the pirates had a mean advantage. Almost a whole Redskin tribe perished. Only the chief, Tiger Lily and a few warriors managed to fight their way out. But Hook's work was not yet over. There was hatred in his wicked heart for Peter Pan. Hook knew that if the boys heard the Redskins' tom-tom, they would come out of hiding, thinking the Redskins had won. So he signalled to Smee, who beat the tom-tom twice. It's a Redskin victory, cried Peter. The boys cheered and got ready to leave the cave, saying a last goodbye to Peter. As they came up, one by one, each was caught by a pirate and trussed up like a chicken. Then the pirates bundled the children into the little Wendy house and carried it on their shoulders to the Jolly Roger. Hook was left behind. He looked carefully at the trees and discovered that one of them was more hollow than the others. He could just squeeze in. He could not open the door, but he peered through a chink and saw Peter lying peacefully asleep on the great bed. Here is a picture of the pirates carrying off the lost boys, with Hook looking on. For a moment his cold heart was touched. Then he spied Peter's medicine, which he could just reach. Hook always carried a deadly poison on him. Reaching through the chink, he poured five drops into Peter's medicine. Then he climbed out of the tree like some evil spirit. Pulling his hat over his eyes, he wrapped his black cloak around him and stole away through the wood. So today's challenge is as follows. Can you find out the meaning of the following words and use them in a sentence? Fiendish, advantage, perish and victory. You can pick up clues about the meanings of the words from the context of the story and you can also check by using a dictionary. Don't worry if you don't have a dictionary to hand. You can also use an online dictionary. And here is an example of an online dictionary that I sometimes use. What do I mean when I say you can pick up clues about the meanings of the words from the context of the story? Well, let's have a look at the first word in our table, which was the word fiendish. Here, fiendish. So, I found the word fiendish, and now I'm going to read the sentence that has the word fiendish in. It says, Hook and his fiendish crew had taken the Redskins by surprise, so the pirates had a mean advantage. Just to say, the word crew is referring to Captain Hook's team of pirates. So to help me find out the meaning of the word fiendish, I need to think carefully about what I already know about Captain Hook and his team of pirates. OK, so I know they are not very nice. In fact, they are quite nasty to say the least. The word fiendish is being used to describe Captain Hook's team of pirates. Can you use the information that I've just told you to help you make a really good guess of what the word fiendish might mean? I will put photos of the text on my Twitter page and I will underline these words in the text for you. As always, I would love to see your work on my Twitter page or the Clifton Twitter page. And don't feel like you have to stop at these words here. If you find any other words in the text that I've read today that you don't understand, please do try and look them up or try and see if you can work out the meaning of the words from the context of the story, like we tried to do with the word fiendish. Well, Peter has got himself into a lot of trouble, hasn't he? I wonder if he'll be able to get himself out of this situation. We'll find out soon. Have a good day and see you tomorrow.